Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney with Artie and Marty. Woo! Who's pumped for more Ace Attorney? So, just heads up, it's been like two or three weeks yeah. since we've recorded the last episode. The and reason being, I lost my voice. And it's kind of hard to yeah. co-commentate if you don't have a voice. And also hard to voice, apparently, April, May. Yeah, because... so, speaking of which, you're probably going to have to voice her again pretty soon. So Alright, right. you might, you might I, I gotta get in the mode. Alright, from Safe Point. Alright, so this is her hotel room, so... Let's examine some stuff. Oh, hang on. Her theme music is ridiculous! I do not consider this her theme music, but alright. Well, I don't know. I We started hearing it, though, and she was right. like, oh! P examine! I'm oh, she's cat. got some juice on the table. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody yes. must be- Yes! <laughs> juice! Yeah! It, it, it is juice! <laughs> oh, it is juice? I Somebody must it. be staying with her. Like like I said at the beginning, th th Japan is way more strict about alcohol oh, referencing games than America is. Okay. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. What I, I like voicing Phoenix because I just give him my default voice. Yeah, and I've was... actually been told by someone, like, you know, I don't know what you look like, but I've always pictured you to look like Phoenix right. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could, could kind of see it in the I summer. I don't really have the spiky hair. No, but in the though. summer your hair is crazy. Not to that extent. Not to that extent. Phoenix <laughs> uses gel. Yeah. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Faye and Company Moffs this building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. Oh, that would explain why she was like, THERE'S A MURDER! <laughs> I think it would be a little <laughs> difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Okay. Good to keep in mind. Ah, still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. Okay. Yeah, you know you can examine something when examine pops up when you hover over oh, it. Cool. Which is nice. Examine the plants! If we examine like this... No, no clues, clues here. Okay. This is not Blue's Clues. The flowers are fake, as expected. It's a hotel. <laughs> I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. What? Phoenix, you need to, like, brush up on your floral data. Base. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touchy. Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what she could be inside the drawer. What is she wearing? Um, not heart, modest clothes. <laughs> Heart-shaped suit? That's Hi, April in. May. Tell me about what you witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the, the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur, um, happened the other day? The bad the thing? <laughs> <laughs> what did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Oh gosh. Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you really want to know, you're, you'll have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. I think that's deeper than what you did before. This is kind of if delving in- If you want to know, you'll have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. you were delving a little too close to the Mia Fey voice, so I want- <laughs> Was I? A little bit. Okay. Like, more I can't bubbly hear, than I can't that. hear myself, Alright, so. alright. Oh, boy. More, when in doubt, more obnoxious. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No! no, no. <laughs> hey, I'm just doing my job here! <laughs> you know, you're pretty cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. Wow. What the heck would she do as a job? I'm trying to look at her. <laughs> Guess. All I can think of is like, she's really obnoxious. Maybe she's a model or something. <laughs> wow, cut and deep, Marty. <laughs> I, I, okay, 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't she know. looks no, no, decent. No, no, that's no, no. I'm, I'm trying to think of like that's, that's, that's fine. Sometimes that's models fine. are obnoxious. That's a, there are yeah, plenty, it's true. There that's are plenty the of nice models. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues? In the garbage, hmm? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's with her hands? <laughs> this is like the perfect April May voice, by the way. <laughs> in the garden. I'm really, really gonna try looking in there. Hmm, what's inside, I wonder? <coughs> Maybe later. <laughs> I wonder if we re examine this stuff, does she say stuff? Bottle and two glasses on the table. Okay, then, no. The nice She's thing. like, I don't care if you look at what I was drinking, but you can't look at my drawers. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I mean, I mean, that's a little much, Phoenix, but True. still, why, why do you have a screwdriver? Yeah, in for all door? you know, it's just hey, like hey, a check drawer this out. that she is closing. She's like, what the heck? Stranger. Oh, there we go. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police. Witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like the movie. Oh, maybe she's an actress. <laughs> maybe she does acting or oh, something. Oh, she'll love this, won't she? Excuse oh, me. No, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You can't present people's profiles in this. Oh, that's a shame. All right. Well, she's not going to cooperate, is she? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we still have to go to the Grossberg Law Offices because this right. is the lawyer we're supposed to get for Maya. See you. <laughs> 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 Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait in here for him to come back. Ahem! <clears throat> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, so you're the one they say has been looking for me. This is like if Dr. Eggman went gray. This also looks like a little hair. bit like our lawyer friend, doesn't it? <laughs> in real life. A He's got the bit. mustache yeah, and the glasses. Yeah, he does. And the I, I, I see it, I see it. Just... Yeah. <laughs> a little bit longer hair. Uh, y yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar? Oh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? hmm? Something the matter? You came to see me, the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. That's me. <laughs> uh, Help me out. Yes, Maya oh, Faye. Oh, jeez. Go on. What's his problem? Mm, why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. <laughs> He just said he was. <laughs> I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Well, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Ooh. <clears throat> anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. Okay, bye. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Dun, dun. Oh, he's got a pen in his pocket. Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? <clears throat> well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client what a is... jerk. <laughs> but the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm? <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Oh, man. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Hmm, should not... Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. What? Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now, I've nothing more to discuss with you. Dang. What's going on here? Uh, how about we talk about Mia? <laughs> <laughs> how did you know Mia Faye? He's like, can you go? 
She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. What were you saying? Oh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, okay. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Cool. Yeah. Hey, can you tell me about that amazing art on your wall? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a painting. Ha! <laughs> you noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The uh, color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. Okay, sorry I asked. <laughs> it's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. Why would you keep something that, like, important in your office? Well, I guess he's a little vain, huh? Mm. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying! Jeez. <laughs> Oh yeah, we never examined around his office. All right. Like we could have examined the painting. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. And you mean it's related? That oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. Oh, I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For that matter. I love the puns in this game. They're great. What's up? A solid mahogany desk. There's a word you don't hear often. Mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> the wood's been polished to a deep luster. Clearly, somebody has <laughs> um, <laughs> junior lawyers working for them. Mahogany bookshelves. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm. Funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. Isn't that pretty much every library, though? Like, I feel like in like all these like fancy houses, you've got like the study. How many people actually read the books there? I've always I don't wondered know. that. I haven't read half the books in my house. Never have I. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony desk, a case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Well, he's he's quite well off, isn't he? And speaking of which, hey dude, have you seen this? <sighs> Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. Dang, not as good as I thought. Look at my friend's cool statue! <laughs> <laughs> I like how after you've triggered dialogue once, you can skip through it really, really quickly. That is nice. Alright. <clears throat> well, he refused, so I bye guess bye. we gotta tell Maya the bad news now. Oh gosh. Now I gotta remember what I did for her. Oh, I think I know. September 6th, 3.42pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Poor girl. Hiya. Oh! You're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> <laughs> what really happened? She knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't mean he refused to help. Uh. I see. I've been abandoned then. Yeah, this is not good. Poor girl. She's happy. Wait, oh shoot. No, oh, we've already done this. We've already done this. Yeah. Oh jeez. Dialogue. Doggone it, I didn't mean to click on that. Okay. <laughs> oh, also one thing I should do. Uh, I got your phone back. <laughs> hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Oh. Oh, I've never triggered this dialogue before. My eyes closed. Oh. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Oh, poor girl. Thank you. Oh no, I triggered the- oh, oh! What? I triggered the different music from that. Oh man. That's one of the few times in the game you actually get to hear the other music. Oh well. Oh. We'll hear it again later. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? Oh, it's like, okay. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in a, in an incident. There was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. 
So, you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her. All by herself up on that mountain? No kidding. Me too. <laughs> Maya's probably one of... The, the, the toughest people? The saddest people as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are a lot of pitiable characters in this, okay. actually. So, who is this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. How old is Maya? 17 in this game, I believe. Oh, okay. we can check with the court record button. Okay, so Mia's 27, Maya, yep, Maya's 17. Okay, because so I was like, 15 years ago, what was that? 30. Edgeworth is 24. Hey, we haven't even seen him yet, and we get his profile. Interesting. Oh, cool. And April May's 23. I'm 23! She's two years older than me. That wow. seems weird. <laughs> <laughs> and Grossberg is 64. Dang, he's still working at 64. Single Good on you, Grossberg. Oh, I don't know. Actually, we don't know if April May's single or not. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You fought? The man my mother helped the police capture was incident- er, incident? <laughs> Innocent. The police consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. Jeez! He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Go home? Defend Maya. Uh, Which let's one? defend her, man. But right, you but, wanna see yeah, it? Uh, hang on. Uh, uh. And it, yeah, there we go. Safe state. Let's just go home. There's nothing left here for me to do. She'll be better off with a state-appointed lawyer. No, she won't. I think I'd better get home now. Goodbye. You failed! Oh, probably. It was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. Jeez. I'll probably never meet her again. Did I make the right choice? No! Will I ever know? <laughs> Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. This is dark. NOT! I can't let oh. that <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving here until she takes me as her lawyer. I've made up my mind. Alright, well. <laughs> that was funny. Oh. Well, that's where the dialogue meets up. Defend Maya. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well, can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, these um, are great options, aren't they? I would probably just say, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me, the killer? Although the evidence seems to say yes, but there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. I like her face. That witness's strange behavior. Was that all an act? <laughs> And the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. Yeah. I know. I've been there. A long, oh, this is where it all matches up. Alright, um... Someone else is the culprit. You aren't the culprit! Someone else is! How, how do you know? I, um, I have a hunch... Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume that Maya was the killer. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. Oh, yeah. Hello again! <laughs> <laughs> I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Oh my gosh! Why did I become was a Was he, like, bullied in school? We'll get that eventually. Aww. Why did... Poor dude. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Mm. 
like you hear, kid. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Uh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right! Thank you! Whew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just... Hello again! <laughs> I keep appearing every few seconds. You don't have to do the thing with your hands, you know. Just because she doesn't. It gets me in character. <laughs> Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer. It was when I tried to look in that drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Alrighty, guys. So we're, we're about okay. to wrap up the investigation, actually. We literally oh. just have to examine this. Da, da, da. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. I also have amazing highlights in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I literally never noticed that until you just pointed it out. <laughs> oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, er, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no! Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Gah! Y you came back up quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. <laughs> oh, right. Sure. Gosh darn it. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Yeah, it could be. It could be. Probably not. <laughs> Alright, let's see drawers. what's in here. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. Ooh. Okay. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, Bellboy, still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May, in court. To be continued. Ah. Uh. That's every game has their its own unique jingle when you get to this. All right, little less than a half hour. That's a pretty good length yeah, video. That's I good. think we're gonna call it a day here. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Not Marty. Tune in next time. We're going to court. Oh boy. And we're, we're going against, again, up against the prosecutor who's actually competent and not... We just can't believe! <laughs> <laughs> Objection! <laughs> yeah, yeah, look forward to that. This is where the game gets really interesting. So, hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>